folks, Ryan here from Mr. Al's Gaming Rants and Reviews, and we don't have a review or a rant tonight. We've got a playthrough, and I've been very excited about this one. Uh, oh gosh, how long have we had this one in the in the, in the cards here? But I've got Tim from Board Game Hot Takes joining me tonight. Welcome, Tim. Hey, Ryan. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. You know, like getting to join your your show is awesome, but also playing a fantastic game. Looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, talk a little bit about Board Game Hot Takes in case yeah. anybody hasn't uh, listened to it yet. Yeah, so Board Game Hot Takes is a podcast. It's me and a, a few friends. We get together every Monday night. We play a board game, sometimes for the first time, sometimes for the hundredth time. So it could be anything. Uh, but then we just basically, right after finishing playing, we hit record and we talk about it for about 30 minutes and then talk about some other things that we're excited about in gaming right now. Um, but yeah, it's just a great way for us to unwind after a game night and you get to hear our immediate thoughts, get to hear whether we liked it, whether we didn't. We're very honest, we're very open about our thoughts and uh, we have a great time doing it. Um, you know, you can find us wherever you listen to podcasts, but also even if you don't want to listen to a podcast, we're on Twitter, hang out, chat there, talk about games all the time, talk about the latest new releases. I put out polls every week. Just yeah, a fun time. Part participate in the polls. I just participated in a poll that I think that just launched um, today or tonight. Yep. There's nothing like that. They're, they're really, really, really entertaining to read people's comments on, on how they're inter interpreting what you're trying to ask. They're really yeah, funny. I I've, I've discovered I'm the worst poll asker, like the worst <laughs> pollster possible because everybody finds loopholes in the, the thing that I didn't ask in there. And uh, Adam on our show likes to give me a hard time about it every week, but it's a blast. I, I We get so much community engagement in that, in that polling. So at the beginning of our show, every week we read out a poll, um, you know, kind of give the results, talk about our own answers, but then we read out some of the listeners answers as well. And it's fun. We get, we got some great insights there. Really, really cool. Yeah. I'll have links to tim's uh podcast there the board game hot takes uh podcast there and i'll have links to their twitter account as well everything so you can just check the uh the description of the video below and go 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 listen to it it's actually a fantastic it's a fun it's always a very fun conversation afterwards right on ryan thanks for saying that and i apologize to everyone this is my first time on a, on a youtube show on an actual video show so i know my face is not made for video that's why i do a podcast Hey, so I apologize I, in advance. But. I didn't even shave tonight. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why the room is a little bit darker and I got the shadow and everything like that. The lights aren't quite working, but the, Hey, Hey, they're not here to actually watch our faces. They're no, actually, you're here right. to, they're going to be here to watch us play a game. Yep. Uh, we thought this is actually going to, we were trying to rack our brains about what game we would want to play um, online and kind of came up with the idea of like, you know, Targi seems to be like, it would be a really interesting two player only back and forth type of game. I don't know if anybody knows this about me yet though, but that Targi is like one of my favorite games of all time and I'm absolutely horrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to hear because I was prepared to be spanked tonight but since it's one of your favorite games. I've only played it like maybe six, eight times and I've, I've loved my plays of it, but I'm not very experienced. So I think you got a really good shot regardless of your skill level. Well, um, according to my board game stats, everything my wife and i have played this about 70 times wow and i've only won maybe about 20 of the 70 games so um <laughs> well that either says something about your skill or it says something about your wife's skill so oh you know, man you could give she, her the she's, credit. she is definitely the reluctant gamer she's like she doesn't like think that she's a board gamer but she's like a hardcore board gamer but she won't yeah. go around advertising it <laughs> you know, my wife's kind of the same way. She said so the same thing. She, you know, she always rolls her eye when I ask if I want, if she wants to play a game. Although if I don't ask her for a few days, she's like, hey, you want to play a game tonight? Uh, but when she's playing, she gets really competitive. So there are certain games that yes. she really, really loves because I think, you know, she has, she's good at them or, you know, she has a good shot at them. But if it's a game that she just can't seem to get her head around that she hates it so right. it's like i don't think it matters what kind of game it is it's like if she's good at it she's gonna like it so i'm yep. always looking for those games that she kills me at and those yeah those are the, the first the part. first impression is always key to yes. rope them in <laughs> rope them in awesome but, but i have to say i never throw a game to her i always you know always play my best and i want you to do the same for me ryan even though you've played this game 70 times try to crush me <laughs> that's the only okay. way it's fun Okay, well, we'll, we'll tr I'll try to make it competitive. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. I will change the screen over for us so now everybody can see the Targi 
layout on Board Game Arena, and the Board Game Arena implementation is actually really, really fantastic and smooth. Yeah. Um, I'm really enjoying what they've done with lots of the games that they've done on here. Okay. Yeah, the Board Game Arena is just a fantastic platform. You know, I mentioned, so I do this podcast with my friends every week, and we started it right as the pandemic the pandemic kicked off, basically. You know, we stopped right, getting together yes. in person, and then we all moved to different parts of the country. So we don't live anywhere near each other. So the game we play every week has to be on an online platform. It's Board Game Arena, Tabletop Simulator, Tabletopia, and Board Game Arena is by far our favorite. If, if, if a game is on Board Game Arena, we're excited to play. If we got to play something on Tabletop Simulator, we're usually all very annoyed by the interface right. and by the experience of it. So yeah, if you if you want to play games with friends, Board Game Arena is the way to go. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, and chip in the few dollars that it is to get the premium membership so you get access to all of the games. Yep. It's 100% worth it. Even though they so, increased I, their price, but it's still no, worth it. Yeah, I hadn't even, I hadn't heard, but I would I don't care. I'll pay for it. Oh yeah. You know, I I was actually surprised to see that I started getting access to alpha games now, which I think means that I play way too much because <laughs> after you play a certain number of games and a certain variety, then you get access to alpha games. So um, maybe maybe I need to settle it down a little bit, but it, it's a blast. Nope. Games are games. We want to have fun. Now I have to ask you, Ryan. How do you know it's pronounced Targi? Because I was trying to figure out figure this out, and I I found one reviewer that called it Targi and one that said Targi, and I have no idea Ooh. what the right the right that, pronunciation that, is. It's just the way that I've always. It sounds okay. Uh, yeah, I, I get. I guess phonics worked on me. That's great. I, no. I, I guess, but I have always. I don't know. Everybody pronounces it, or at least around me. Okay. You've probably heard, target, you probably heard more people pronounce it. That's probably the right <laughs> way. I, when I first learned to play it, I watched a reviewer. I don't remember who it was and they we were pronouncing it Targi. So that's how I started pronouncing oh. it. And someone corrected me recently. I was on uh, definitely a board game podcast a couple of weeks ago as a guest. Oh and, yes. And, and he corrected me with that. So now I was like, Oh, I don't. So oh. I'm glad you, I'm glad you feel comfortable. Yes, I know confident. Royce. Royce really loves this game. Yes. He, he yes. also loves this game. It, it, it's fantastic. I'll, I'll, I'll fight anybody on that. It's like one of the it's the greatest two player only game out there. But that's neither here nor there. That sounds like a rant for another day. <laughs> we can rant while we're playing. In fact, yeah, I have absolutely. a lot to say about this game while we're playing. I haven't done a full review on this, so I'm excited to kind of review it as we're as we're cool. playing and kind of talk about what what's cool about it and you know what doesn't work. Sure. Oh, although I heard you're going to fight me if I say anything bad about it. So I'll be careful. <laughs> it's going to be hard against a computer screen. I'll just become a keyboard warrior. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like. Oh, it's my turn to start. It I looks like probably... you get to be the first player. Let's let's jump on in here. huh? All right, let's do it. Two um... of each resource and a piece of gold and four points you get to start with. Okay. I'm making my first move. Okay. So he's going straight over there. So it's funny, that's one of my opening moves too, is going for the expansion. And if I go second and somebody take, I always have to go with the caravan. There you go. Caravans, you can, sometimes you get some nice, you can get some uh, nice extra special resources when that comes up. That's always great. I know I'm even giving you access to that lovely piece of gold right exactly there, like you take so yeah, yeah i have to be honest the, the gold is the main reason why i put it on the tribal expansion but it makes a lot of sense to go there because you have the resources to to basically make anything happen in the first round so why not just grab right and all those there. border cards give you nice nice working there well now what do i want to do here okay i'm just going to come over here i love this space too yeah the one that allows yeah. you to jump your jump your pawn there you go and you get that free point out of it as well Got to get all the advantages. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Well, yeah, and then that last Targi, it's always tricky to figure out where do you want to actually put that guy or gal. Yeah, it's uh, this game is so interesting because it's not only about what you're trying to get from that intersection, but also what can your opponents pick up depending on where they place theirs. And, um, you know, I don't, I'm not seeing anything that's important for me to block for you right now, so... That first, we'll just... yeah, the first couple rounds, it's kind of like any good dueling game. It's kind of just like feeling out your opponent, trying to figure out where we're gonna go. So that looks like okay. It looks like what it looks like right here might be my only really good option to get some, at least get the two intersections. You can always have the option of just going straight across from yourself, mm -hmm. but you only get the one intersection. 
which is seems like it's kind of a waste sometimes. Right, totally. Yeah, you want to optimize as much as you can. Now, I just played this Oasis card, and I don't know if that was a smart move because depending on what I pull off the tribal expansion, I spent all my salt. So let me see if I can get lucky and not pull something that needs salt here or whatever that white resource is. Ah, bummer. So I can't even play it now. So that guy's going to go in my hand. Mm. I was afraid that would happen. Yeah, that's a risk of not doing the tribal expansion first. Right, totally. On the yeah, first although move. I would have just had to put the Oasis in my hand, so it was kind of a either or thing. I figured. Oh, double salt. Nice. There that you go. Nice. I'm Take short those, on salt, and you're loaded with this. Now, instead of taking the point, I guess I can go grab myself a tribe card. What's one this and say? Immediately after placing this card, you may swap positions of. Well, that's not actually that great right now. I don't have any cards. Nope. At the game end. Every two camel rider cards. Oh, okay, that kind of gives me a little bit of focus. I'm going to go with that guy. So I will place it here. And then I will play that card. So now it kind of gives me an incentive to go grab some camel cards later. Oh, we're all tied up so far. 5-5. Five, five. Okay. And I've got a buttload of resources. So... Tribal expansion, here we come. I'm not giving you that gold that easy. Can't, you can't you can't give me the gold. No, 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 no. <laughs> smart move. It's a, that's a really good smart move. Let's go with I hate that the robber. I think that's what he got. Yeah, they call him the robber. He's up there, so I guess I have to take down here. You know what I just realized in the first round? I said I didn't have enough salt, but one of my guys was going to give me salt. Oh, man, that was such a silly... That was a terrible move. I had the salt to play that thing. Oh, I guess I was short one of the... Um, the oh, the, uh, the pepper. pepper or whatever that thing the is. Pepper. Now. Okay. Well, then I don't feel so dumb. Hmm. Oh, boy. So I know... Is it you that have mentioned on their show a few times about set collecting? Yes. Yep. Yes. And then this one has a kind of like a strong, also a strong set collecting element for the end of game. Yeah, Scoring. for the, the um, what do you call them? The, the, what are the cards called that you could put in your tableau? Oh, the, the tribe the cards. The tribe cards, yeah. Yeah, it does. You know, and I, I mentioned, we actually talked about this on our show recently about mechanisms that bugged us. Um, we call them controversial mechanisms. Mm. And uh, set collection is definitely one of them where I kind of just feel like it is, it can be, oh, you took the spot I wanted. Um, already messing with me. I hear that all the time. <laughs> all right. Um, this is also going to be a good exercise in concentration because yeah, we're trying to have talking, a conversation and, have, a playing, and, and playing a nice, neat little strategic game. People are going to be watching this going, why did he just do that? And it's because I'm not thinking. <laughs> Right. Um, yeah, but anyway, set collection, I think, you know, sometimes can feel thematic, like here, it doesn't feel thematic at all. So it's, it's a light part of the game. It doesn't bother me very much here, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. uh, definitely, you know, I, I would have liked to see end game scoring go oh, for a different reason. Different of thing. course, it, of course it had half a piece of gold on it. There you go. I like that. Of course it would have half a piece of gold. Okay. We'll play you down there. Oh, I must choose. You must cho choose five goods to get. What? What did that guy say? I didn't even actually read the text on him. Um, but I get for five. Each two goods. free spaces in your display, you receive one wear of your choice. That's huge. Wow. That's a great But I'm not going to be able to carry that many over, though. Oh, what's the what's the max on that? I, it I forgot is there was a max. 10 resources. Oh, yeah. You don't even have much I'm, space. I'm already for at it. 10. Oh. <laughs> oh, but the space that I'm on currently, the space that I'm on currently, Oh, you, you can convert. I, I can convert. Nice. I can convert extra resources into some victory points. There you go. So I will convert two or four identical goods. So I will do this. Oh, I can do this just once. So, okay. Were so you I'm able gonna... to do that even though you you were supposed to be getting the benefit from the camel rider? Like it lets you kind of do it in the middle? Or did you lose that option? So it's you only have to discard the goods at the end of your turn. Oh, gotcha. So okay. I gained all this stuff. Gotcha. I have like 16 things. Pay my selected goods. And now I have one extra good too much. So I'll have to discard. I'll discard one salt. 
man, yeah, you're playing at a strategy level that I that I was perceived yet. That was completely <laughs> unintentional because I actually didn't even read the camel card. I just, I just wanted to get a card, but man, very, I do like the balance. Very slick. I do like the balance of the cards because some of the ones that are only just worth these one victory points, they actually have pretty good abilities on them. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you got that camel rider in the middle of the board there. It's worth three victory points, but it gives you no benefit. Oh, okay. Interesting. And, oh, wow. So I'll scroll on the screen here for everybody to see what our tableaus are looking like. Tim's got three. I've got two. He's really going to push to try to get a set of four camel riders because that's going to be worth extra four points at the end of the game if he can complete a roll of all identical uh, cards. Oh, there's two pieces of gold out now. Not if I can, Ryan, when I can. <laughs> Perfect. Well, then. Oh, but I'm not going to be... You You. You are going to definitely get a piece of gold, and I am shut out of getting a piece of gold. Well, then, let's caravan it. <laughs> Sorry, did we finish our thought about the set collecting? Uh, just that I said I, oh. I said that in this game it doesn't bother me too much, but I do think it's lacking theme a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. There are other games where it's a heavier focus, or you know, but yeah, I I don't know. It's it's not something that gets me excited, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's so many other cool mechanisms going on here though that I don't mind so much. No, perfect. The, the reason that I um, brought this up on definitely a board game podcast with Royce was because we were talking about classic games that need a retheme or like a not a retheme but a, an updated version of it and the one thing that i really don't like about this game and is stopping me from picking it up and adding it to my collection because i absolutely love it is just the very dreary production on it the artwork mm. how do you feel about it? how does it sit for you do you do you like the production you, here do you know what the production for me doesn't i i like i don't mind it okay it's um like i i, I do agree it's like 100 percent drab euro Mm -hmm. And I don't know, maybe I'm a classic kind of guy, classics kind of guy, <laughs> like Browns in games, like the original Castles of Burgundy, like give it that to me all day long type of killing uh, me, Ryan? Type, type of thing. Killing um, me. <laughs> I, I am because you just mentioned on your Twitter poll today about upgrading components. This is yeah. one game I do have upgrade. I got the, the board game geek bits. Okay. So got the acrylic tiles now instead of the cardboard uh chits that this game uh came with hmm you yeah it's such a it's such a um you know small production it's inexpensive so it really wouldn't take much for them to really freshen it up just new artwork basically and you could bring this into the 21st century yeah um, i'm trying to figure out what the exact year i don't know if this is 10 years old yet or not I want to say it's getting probably, if it is, it's probably getting really close to that 10 year mark or just over that 10 year mark. I think it was 2012, I think. Okay, is, so, is we are so, so we are about that 10 year. Yeah. Now I played my my uh, one of my workers on the Feta Morgana, which lets me move to another space, but I mainly did that to block you out from the gold over there or to, to get, to get access to the gold really. And that's the only place I could the gold it, so. and the point. So I got a waste. I, I wasted him, unfortunately, but I'm going to use my silversmith here. Turn in one gold and I've just spent all my gold. Okay. So Tim and I are in the opposite ends here he's starting to run out of resources a little bit he's taken the victory point lead and I've, i'm flush with resources and i'm not spending them on anything <laughs> so it's a it's a bold strategy cotton but we'll see how it pays <laughs> off <laughs> okay um i was gonna go get all of my resources here resource resource 
caravan, lots of resources. Holy crud. Uh, another resource. But I am going to get myself a, a few pieces of gold from the trader. There you and go. the trader action you can do multiple times other than the silversmith. So three identical goods for a gold. So I'm going to spend three pepper to get a gold. And I'm also going to spend three dates and three salt. So now I have all the gold. Now I've got all of the gold that I probably need for most of the game. And I will pay... Whoa, no, oh, here, and now here's the game. I, like... <laughs> here is the thing that I don't like about this, this, uh, version. There is no undo. I pay, I clicked pay a victory point, uh, instead, but of, instead of, instead of the resource. Uh, and that was just, that was just flush. me being fat fingered on my keypad here. Yeah. It's so interesting why board game arena makes that decision sometimes because some games, they give you plenty of chances to undo. And then some of them, nope. You're stuck. Mm -hmm. Can't do anything else. It's, right. Uh, I like the I like the blend. Like I don't want to be asked every single decision, but there are certain points when you should get the opportunity to go back. Yeah. Like they have games out there where they kind of have like the little toggle menus, where it's like mm -hmm. if you want like automatic selections, just click this button, and all of these choices will automatically instead of you being asked every single time. Right. I like those things. This one could easily have that little say like. Do you want confirmation? Do you not want confirmation? Oh, well, let's see if I can make up that one extra point that I lost there. Da, 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 da. So I am now going to go up here. Mm. And then my last thing that I'm going to want to do is probably take that one. Let's see what I can get out of my turn here, out of all my resources. Well, I'm hoping for a, a good resource pull on the caravan. Okay. Didn't, oh, I forgot that that's what the intersection for that point was. Okay. Well, then, let... Okay. Order of operations. Let's do. Let's see what's in the tribal expansion. Okay. That's good. What is the text? At the game end, for every two Oasis cards. Okay, so another one of these if I get other cards. Okay, we'll play you. You're Everyone not there. set up for Oasis cards so far. Good no, luck. No, no. <laughs> it's pretty much just a victory point at this point. Um, I now will play this card out of my hand. I like the... Like the decision point there that you could also discard it if you yeah. want just to clear up your hand that'd just be a sad clear. move though that would be a sad sad use i know of turn. i don't think i've ever used the noble <laughs> to just discard the card out of my hand yeah you always kind of select the cards however you kind of want okay and then i'm going to take my targi card play her and then I'm out of resources. Oh, I guess I can take that guy. And, oh, if I just had one pepper, I could have also got that extra Oasis card there. But I think for this turn, I am just... I'll keep it in hand for right now. Oh, okay. So I want some salt, I think. Not awesome, but give me a little flexibility because then I can take this salt and I can use this guy to move this guy over here. Take that Ooh. guy. Ooh. And then we'll just grab this point. So I'm, I'm going to kind of scroll here so people can see our tableaus. It looks like Tim and I are both starting to di diversify on one of our rows, which is interesting too, because you do get rewarded a little bit for having one of uh, a different card in every slot in a, in a row, which awards you two points at the end of a game. 
as opposed to the four points if they're all the same. Mm-hmm. It's interesting that my wife and I always talk about that as when do you make the decision to diversify and just do like different cards in each rows and and like how many. My goal is always to try to get two rows that are the same. Yeah. And one row that is different. Yeah, I pretty much fall. I, I pretty much hit that same. Uh... But I think where What's... my wife always figures it out is I don't know how often times, but she always seems to get like three full rows of like they're always the same. Hmm. I don't know why. Maybe I got to shuffle that deck. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized the uh, the well and the I, I thought the 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 wells were an oasis. So that's a well. The palm trees are the oasis. Okay. Oh, okay. So I got that mixed up. Let's, man, there's not much exciting out here to grab right now. So I think we'll take a caravan because I need some resources. I'll hope for something good there. Yeah, we kind of both had pretty big turns recently where all the resources went. Oh, yeah, and you we, spent and, most years too. And we got mm-hmm. and we got cards out. Still giving you that, that, that three-point lead. That's going to be, that's hard to overcome. Let's mm-hmm. see what I can do here. What do I need, though? What can I do? Hmm. Let's go. I don't really, there's nothing I can really block you on. So let's go with. Gosh, I got to start setting up again. And I don't know why this like this game just fell into like my one of my top favorite games of all time. I it could be just the sheer number of plays we've played it, but it just seems like a really nice tactical experience. Yeah. That that push and pull. Yeah, one of the things I love about it is that you really can um you know, you can focus on your strategy, but there's really clear opportunities to try to block the opponent. And in a, in a more than two player game that doesn't always work so well, you know, it feels mean, but when you're playing a two player game, it never feels as mean because that's kind of the thing, right? That's your only competition. So, yeah. so it, it's, it's pretty clever, very fun decision points. Like I love, I, I like worker placement in general, but I just love how it's not just about what you're getting when you place your worker, but it's about how they intersect and it mm. kind of completely changes the decision about what you, you know, why you're placing them or why you care where they go. Very fun. And like you mentioned before, it's not only always about where I want it to go, but I do need to stop Tim from getting some stuff right. every now right. and then. All right. Let's ever see so, this. ever so clever. Ever so I, clever. I need some pepper, but you took all the pepper spots. Don't the, appreciate that, Ryan. And the robber took a pepper. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah, you're right. It's the robber and you. You both Robert. both working against me. Ah, I know. Well, this is that, that's it's a story of my life in this game. My wife just seems to always know the resources that I need, and she'll snap them. Okay, what do I? Hmm. Yeah, I have to get really lucky on that caravan, or I just wasted a pretty good move. Which is, it's okay with me. This card, the caravan. It does add a little bit of randomness, kind mm-hmm. of like a little, okay, at that push your luck, I really, really hope. And if you hit it, you're going to hear, you're going to see like Tim, like jump through. <laughs> exactly. <here. laughs> All right, here he goes. Let's try it. I need a, I need a gold or I need two pepper. And he kicks it in. Oh, we got one oh, pepper. Oh, that's not bad. That's a pretty good card. So unfortunately it didn't give me enough to actually benefit from that tent that I have my guy on. So that's a bummer. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm going right. to be short, so I can't take that guy. And I don't have the gold for it. Ah, bummer. Discard. You may choose what to do with this tribe card, and the only option is discard. Yeah. Like, it's not much of a choice there, BGA. <laughs> yeah, thanks, tips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I. Mm-hmm. Okay. I Sorry, think I just gave you your three point, your three point, uh, uh, my three point lead is going to be. It's gonna be lost right here. Yeah, no, I don't have the uh I don't have the pepper. Oh, you're short target. of pepper too. I'm short right. of pepper too to get this target card down. Yeah. And I can't take it into my hand because this this card's blocking in my hand right now. So I can get that oasis, but if I take now here's my decision point. If I take the oasis, I'm gonna to have to diversify 
probably my camel rider mm -hmm. row here, which is too bad because I'm just going to get extra points for every two camel rider cards. But I might have to abandon those extra points here to get that. What is, what's its benefit? For every two well cards. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting all of the <laughs> for every twos, but I'm never going to get the twos. Oh, my gosh. Ryan, do you find that you're, you and your wife, do you usually end the game by someone filling up their tableau or is it when the Raider gets all the way around? More, yeah. more often than not, somebody has filled their tableau before okay. I get to that last raid. Oh, this is a tough one. Well, I guess I have that Oasis card in my hand anyway, so I, I'm, I'm going to play that. I'm going to play this card. Or I'm like, no. Yeah, I'm going to play it. Dang it. Don't feel good about it. <laughs> don't feel good about it but I do have to discard this other one which is too bad oh okay. well, look at all those resources up there now those doubles very very tempting very tempting Ooh, yeah it's very tempting this is a unique word too because there's only one uh, there's only one tribe card out there. Yeah. Which, which yeah. means, cause we're going to claim a whole bunch of these on our next turn. We're going to be filling up our boards, hopefully filling up our boards. Oh, now if I was paying attention, oh, okay. He went there. What did I let you do? I'll let you get away with something. No, no, no. I, I thought that I should have done something on my turn to block you from something, but you went there instead. I thought you were, I, what I, obvious move I should have done. <laughs> I, I thought I thought you were going to go for the pepper on the yeah. uh, right hand side. Yeah, yeah, I was tempted. So maybe then I should have went for the pepper on that side because then I can actually play that card out of my hand or discard that card. No, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to discard that card out of my hand. Mm, the one thing that I say I never do, I'm going to actually do it this game. <laughs> it's clogging it up. Oh, this is a tense chess match, folks. <laughs> trying, we're trying to get into each other's heads. <laughs> oh. Do you have much experience with any other two player only um, game um, titles? Yeah, there's a number that I really like. Um, Seven Wonders Duel is probably my favorite two player only game. Okay. Um, I really like, uh, we added the um, Pantheon expansion recently. My wife and I have been playing a decent amount of that. And okay. the Pantheon expansion, I think, really makes it interesting, changes up the decisions with it quite a bit. So that one's a fun one. I like patchwork a lot. I don't own that one, but I've I've had fun playing patchwork. Um, those are probably some of my favorites. What about you? What uh, yeah. well, I know you, you've been you, looking for yeah. some new ones. So, so if this was my favorite, sorry, this is my favorite two-player only. Um, you just named numbers two and three okay. on my list: patchwork awesome. and Seven Wonders Duel. We absolutely adore. Uh, and I agree with you. The Pantheon expansion really took Seven Wonders Duel to like the next level for us. Mm -hmm. Um, it's the one I don't think we will ever like play without. Yeah. At the, at this point. Yeah. I haven't played with the other expansion for seven wonders duel, but, um, this one seems like enough and we still have a lot to explore in it. So I'm, I'm having fun with it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, the Agora expansion, it, it adds a lot, another like depth to the game. It makes it more crunchy in my mind. It, it really turned it into like more of like a medium style game. So can you say like a lighter do you play it with the Pantheon expansion or do you just play them one or the other? So we played it. We've only played it once where we combined the two expansions together. And oh boy, it's like a big game experience. Awesome. There's a lot. There was a lot to try to track and keep track of, <laughs> which kind of like we're like, holy gosh, my <laughs> uh, our brains hurt for like a simple game and my wife just wanted a game just the cool night night down with <laughs> and we said oh let's play with both the expansions oh no that was a mistake <laughs> we liked it but man it was not the experience we were hoping that it was going to be yeah yeah it's interesting um 
I think that's kind of why we go to these smaller two player games. It's just when you just feel like you want to play something for 30 minutes and get an easy experience with it. Oh man, I told see there I was talking and I did the wrong thing. Oh well. Oh no. We're gonna I wasted we're, my Feta Morgana again. We're gonna do it over and over and over here, folks. <laughs> over and over. But I don't know if you saw, but on my caravan I did pick up two pepper, which is what I was short on before. So that was a lucky, that was a nice pull. Nice. Okay. All right. Here we go. So okay. We're about, we're about the halfway. Uh, well, BGG, or sorry, BGA here says we are exactly the halfway point of this game. Crazy. Oh. Hmm. What is he doing there? Gaining himself Pushing access, <laughs> g- 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 giving himself access to a couple of uh, tribe cards is exactly what he's doing. Hmm. Probably playing poorly. That's probably what I'm doing. Well, you, you are in the lead by three points. I haven't been able to make up the three points yet. And then he goes there, and I am going to come up. Hmm. Might have to try to get lucky. Mm. I think I, I I messed up. You blocked me and got right in my way. Can I still salvage this situation? And that that that's always the key. That I think that I use that same phrase. I need to salvage the, my last <laughs> move, or is that last guy just going to be a a throwaway? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like I looks like I may have made a couple of mistakes here. Bummer. Well, I need to scroll down here again. See our tableaus. We're each sitting at six cards. This did not look good for me. Hmm. Well, let's just grab some pepper, I guess. It seems to be the one that we're always the lowest on. No, but I think I'm not going to get anything in the middle if I do that. So I guess at least if I come over here, I can load up some goods for next. I'll just take this. Wow, that was a that was a sad, sad, pathetic round. <laughs> and mostly, um, we blew through all our gold. Yeah, that's why I went to the trader. I was hoping to pick up the right resources to be able to convert for gold and buy that that camel rider. But I don't right. think I can do it. Right. Well, I'm not going to be able to pick up a card. Well, I guess I'll get a card, maybe, as long as it doesn't require any gold from my tribal expansion. Mm. But there's going to be more cards. More tribe cards are going to be available in the next round. I'm liking that. It looks like I'm just uh, picking up some resources this time. Wow. It always seems to be that way. Just seems to be like a round, just always just gathers resources. And then the next round, okay, hopefully I can explode now into some of these tribe cards. Okay, let's pick up my resources. What am I going to get for my caravan? <gasps> oh, nice. What? Oh, okay, that, that those are the that's the moment where you're like, oh, I could have went there or I could have went there because I now have the gold. Interesting. Okay, so let's pick up my resources here. Pick it up. And what do I get? An Oasis Ooh, card. that's a heavy one. You got it, though. You can play uh, that one. But that means one of my rows is going to be worth zero bonus points <laughs> at the end of the game. Well, that's a three-pointer. It's probably worth it. Yeah. Or maybe make, not. It makes up the difference currently. I just got to try to force you into not completing one of your rows. Yeah, with how successful I've been at, at actually getting any uh, nomad cards, I think that's our tribal cards. I think that's pretty likely. Oh, yeah. And uh, may not complete any of my rows at this pace. My the bottom row. I don't know why I do this, but my bottom row is always my junk row. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just in my mind, it always be like, okay, that's the junk row. Trash goes down there. Everything goes down there. Okay, what am I gonna do now? Uh, Huh. Interesting. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to come up here. I'm trying to get something for once. Yeah, all these all these cards need gold. Except that Tarji card. You know what? Here. Let's block you out of that one at least. Okay. But you got the gold, so you can take another one somewhere. I can, I can take the gold if I want. Yeah, I know I have to actually I have to take a gold. Just nice to have it. I'm also paying attention to that raid that's coming up. This is the big raid. And after the next round where you have to either pay two points or Mm, three resources three, three resources that's a big one do you ever choose to pay the points when you have the resources to pay or is that always just a desperation i i'm out situation <sighs> yeah it's really tough for me to give up the points it's a very tight game to come uh in the just normally like the scores mm. are always usually very close so two points is is huge yeah. In in this game, even though that might deplete you of all your resources going into the final three rounds. Uh oh. Oh, you did go there, so I'm gonna come up here. Well. Oh yeah, because you're gonna get hoping your on this. Hoping on that. On this caravan. Let's have another gold down there for me. Okay, gold. Tent, and we'll try. We'll keep this row alive for getting some bonus points, and then resource, resource, resource. Hey, come on, caravan, pay off. Give me some gold. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Could have done worse, <laughs> but I'm not getting that uh, Targia. So uh, we'll just play this. I love that. It's done worse. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just put this guy in here. But this card is going to stop you from playing all three of your characters next turn. So You did get that one. Yeah. That's actually Sorry. huge. Oh, man. And look at I set myself up for two things that need gold there. Wow. Another way. I mean, I've wasted so many moves in this game. <laughs> I feel like I haven't played completely optimally either. It's lucky for me. Yeah, because right now that... Um, tribe advantage gained by your opponent only place two targies that is oh i love this the button says duly noted yes <laughs> oh gosh because right okay. now me misclicking that one point giving up that one point in the raid is the huge difference right now oh my gosh hmm where is he going up there oh of course of course. Of course. I should. Yeah. One of the camels. Thank you. Take it. Oh, yeah. That was another camel card for you. Oh, that was a misplay by me. Big misplay. Mm. should still leave me with enough resources for the raid it's going to cost me three picking up two so maybe we can try another tribal expansion let's see if I can get lucky that's going to leave me short on the raid but we'll see if it pays off if it pays off, you're 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 sitting nice in the point lead. All right, let's take this, this, this. Take this. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'll do the tribal expansion first because I should probably still be fine with my resources. Oh, it needs a gold. Darn it! And we... I don't really want that for my sets, so I think we'll just discard that guy. Bummer. We'll bummer. take this guy. Well, it was a risk. I right, just grab a camel. Yeah. Yeah. So we set up very nicely to try to get a bonus two point row and a bonus four point row. That's actually 
going to be really quite huge because I don't think that I'm going to get a bonus four-point row. Really don't. Okay. Uh, salt. Caravan. Oh, another gold. Oh, my oh gosh. geez. Who shuffled this deck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Asterix win. That makes... That actually makes me feel a lot better about, <laughs> only, about only having two. That's, that was like having a three Targi. Um, yeah, there you <laughs> go. Around. There you go. Uh, I only used two of mine and you, you used two, but you got like three benefits out of it. So you're good. Okay. Three goods. Okay, select. I wonder if that's a smart move because that's probably going to prohibit me from getting some, some more... Uh, tribe cards you know paying the resources i mean i wonder mm. if that was a good move i cannot get my hands on some gold okay okay so at at this level where there's only three rounds left and my stress level is high <laughs> because <laughs> this is this is a very tight game at 21 points a 21 piece. and 21 yes oh that that big misclick as very early on in the game is going to come to bite me in the butt my game today is all about pushing all my luck and having none so let's see if it pays off for me which is a fun little thing in this game that's being able just to draw the card and be like, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah. come on. Oh, but at least the good, the goods deck, the caravan deck, it always gives you something. Right. Yeah. It always something. gives you something. Well, it's the tribal expansion deck that I'm a little stressed about because if it's another card with gold on it or any number of resources that I didn't, I didn't prep for, I'll be right. in trouble. Right. Um, let's see here. To do what should I do? Hmm. This one. Ah. It was All optimal right, well. for me. It was optimal for me, and it also declined you from a card. Basically, a perfect move. If this game has some of them. We just found one. <laughs> okay, so I'll grab that double. I'll grab all the resources. And then this one does not. I don't need to pay the gold. That is fantastic. Two salt and a date. Oh, she might set you up for your, your four-point row, too. Because now I only have. I can pay one less wear for my next Targi card. Yep. All right. Well, but I, I got to find it in the next two rounds. <laughs> this guy's no choice. So the question is, if I take, I think what I'll do is use this guy and give up this point, which may be silly, but Ooh. I'll set myself up with some more resources to be safe. Ah. And as long as this thing does not need a, as long as it doesn't need two pepper or gold, I'll be okay. So let's, fingers crossed. Here it comes. Oh, oh it needs a gold. Come on. <laughs> I can't oh my do it. Gosh. I don't even want another Targia either. Darn no, it. it's not going to. And, and, uh, and, 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 and always here too, there's always the thing about throwing away the card. Could I just rapidly fill up my tableau? Yeah, exactly. And just, and just, I know. Just kind of like rush my opponent. I probably should have just kept it, but I since I can't seem to get gold anywhere, I don't know that it would have been much good. But at least I got a few more resources this time, so I got set up for something here, something resembling something. You only need two more cards, so you could literally end it this round to get the right stuff. So I better stop that from happening. That, that's a that's a pretty dang good observation. <laughs> two cards and hmm. Let's go here. Ah, oh, that one needs gold. Can't do that. Here. Ah, that was lucky. I have a couple things at that, least. That that was the perfect move that prevents me from ending the game. 
If I went there, I would have had a chance. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do I need to maybe do? Hmm. Oh my goodness gracious. Here's okay, we were talking before. Here's where the AP is gonna come in. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking, I am that guy in our game group that is now going to start carrying the one and beautiful minding this stuff. And it's <laughs> never, and it never works out. It just never works out. Chris, if you're watching, we love you. <laughs> we love you. I, I can relate to Chris. I can relate. All right. I can give up. One, I can give up one of those things. You didn't block the one thing I really needed here. So that's good. get that one can't go for okay both let's shoot for a gold in this caravan and then i shall ooh that's actually no Let's play smarter, not harder, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid I missed something, like you were going to go to the trader and get your second gold and then get both your things. I was but... thinking about going to the trader, but then that leaves me pretty thin. Yeah, that's not bad. Take that guy. Oh, that wasn't terrible at all. I think I'm just going to take the point here instead of moving the Fata Morgana because I really don't have a move with it anyway. So I'm just going to take the point, catch me up to you here. Although you're going to be one more point ahead of me at the end of this round. But let's see. Oh, I get a discount on this guy's all right. Mm. So I'll just pay one, one, one. And let's see, grab I'm it. just going to choose not to get it to place to fill any rows today. That's my strategy. Ooh. See, that was a tough, that would have been a tough one for me. Do I grab the two point bonus or do I just in try that next round? I thought you were going to use your fate Morgana. Oh, you could well, what would I have Morgana. done with it? Um, I would have reserved this other well card um, in my okay. hand. And then that uh, gives me a possibility of giving myself my, my uh, complete row. Well, as I mentioned, you're playing at a different a different level than I am. So you probably that would probably was the right move. I am pretty flush with resources though. So if I get lucky, I could still complete yeah, a couple rows you this next may round. May have been then able to Yeah, you would have probably been able to get that gold by going to the trader. Although though I would have had first player in the next round. I may have blocked the trader. The, there there's a lot of what ifs in that yeah. that that sentence there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay, shoot. Okay, what am I going to do? Well, okay, these resources are just resources. And oh, yeah, you're all set up for next round, too. And I guess I have to. I'm going to play that in my junk yeah. row. See, I wasn't even thinking of the... I, I, I wasn't planning for the just... So, but you're not getting any points for that row. But you will get the two points for the row above it. So I could have gotten two points on mine is what you were saying. And I missed it. Bummer. Well, or at least there's no Targi out for you to complete there that There is no Targi. There is no Targi. That is 100% a bummer. Because even if you do get, there is a well card. Oh, there's both a well card and a camel card out there. And you can afford you can't afford the well, you can afford the camel. Oh my gosh, this is hard. This one. Oh darn it! That's, <laughs> that's like, exactly what I wanted. I was you, say you totally blocked me from the camel. Now that's a bummer. Darn it. Yeah, I almost clicked Caravan when I realized, like, no, no, no. He'll still be able to get the camel with the Fate Morgana. 
Yeah, and that camel would have given me another extra two points too. So it would have been four plus the four for completing the row. So that would have been eight point. That would have been a nice eight point card. A nice a nice swing. It doesn't help you, so that's good. But you know what? Here, I'll take a chance. I'll take. I'll push my luck again and go for the tribal expansion. Maybe yeah. I can pull a camel off the top there, or a, or a. Yeah. You got a good shot, right? One out of f five. How many different kind of cards are there? It's five, right? I think there yeah. are five. Yeah. Yeah. So one out. I got. I need two out of five. That's not great odds. My not statistics great. is not <laughs> strong. All right, so I can't do that. That. Hot doesn't help me much. That wall is not bad though, if I could get to it. Yeah, you need the gold, which you can get with the trader. So I guess I have to. Uh. And try to maybe. Try to maybe convert any leftover goods into maybe a point or a couple points. Well, I can at least get this tent, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> Caravan. I take it back. This game is mean and it's and it's not a good mean. It's not it's not <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good mean. Okay. Oh, whoops. I want a uh, pepper. That's what I want. Okay, and then another. <clears throat> yeah, the Fate Morgana was just a block. Yeah, I was hoping to grab it because if you'd gone anywhere else to take that camera camel, at least it would have let me take it from there. So that would have been the perfect spot for me to lock that camel down. Okay, so let's just. There's no extra bonus points. It does give me two points. Well, you could see the two extra as well, so it's four points because it gets you two for being the end of a complete row. At the game end, if this card is placed, that's right, I was totally reading that ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I believe I can convert, I can convert two peppers into a victory point. And then I can't do anything with that guy. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's see. So first, this guy's easy. easy and the most importantly, there. too, is we are not going to trigger that last raid because my board is completely filled. I was really hoping. Here it comes. I got a gold. So I'm definitely going to be building something here. You can get, you Question can get is, something. what am I building? Got pretty good to get either a camel or a well. Oh, it's an oasis. Yeah, that did not help me at all. That wasn't good. That was actually the worst one. For yeah, you. and it also would mess up my tent, which so then it's get, taken one point. Oh my gosh, that was that was just awful. Actually, can I, I can still play the tent if I do that guy right? Yeah, I could yeah. still do that guy because I can get the salt from the other guy. So I guess it's it's filling up two more rows though. So yeah, that was literally the worst card I could have gotten because I can't get the I can't do anything with it. Okay. Play that guy. Yeah. Oh, and I get a discount on that, so that's good. So I'll just play one of those and one of those. Oh boy. And you Right, and you still can play the tent. Yep. Yeah. I didn't get any of the set bonuses. See, I told you I hate set collection. There's an, <laughs> I knew there was a reason. It was all working up to this one game. My goodness gracious. Oh, you got it. And it, it, was, was it, it was on the, it was on the uh, set collection at the very yeah. end. Yep. That's where it was. Oh. Good game. Good game. That, that was fun. That, that, that was, it was tied right up until the final scoring. Yeah. Yeah. It was 20. Yeah, you were right. Last round, I should have completed a set with the Oasis and gotten the, at least the four cards there um, instead of trying to, because like I wasn't set up to complete any of those other rows. But, it, yeah. you know, things had worked. I just pushed my luck a lot. I just pushed my luck. 
and failed. This is good. This is fun. Yeah, very fun. Very fun. This is a great game. I really would love to see a, an updated production for this. Nice, nice, beautiful artwork. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's so many fun decisions there. The tribal expansion and caravans give you some randomness to go for if things aren't going your way. Uh, the fate of Morgana lets you kind of skip around the restrictions every right. turn. And then you always have a way to trade for the stuff you need or trade for victory points if you're just building up stuff. So Perfect. lots of lots of great choices. I love it. Yeah, you kind of, um, for everything that I want to say, it's ditto. Okay. Sorry, I jumped in. No, no, it's, a, it's a, what, whatever you said. I, I'm glad to hear somebody else, um, kind of glee about this type of game yeah. because it, it it is really good. And the, the yes, the physical production, it, it is a little drab. But again, in my mind, I can, I see past drab, and I like my wife and I. We really love abstract games. Okay. Anyways, so the artwork presentation, as long as it's got a game, good game behind it. Yeah. Now, if you ever have a chance, Tim, I would highly recommend. I don't know if you've been highly recommended to try the expansion. To I haven't. Targi. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. What does what it change? So it, first off, it changes up some of the border cards. So now some of the border cards are different. Okay. And it, cool. adds, a, it adds a new resource of water. And the water provides so much more flexibility. Because you can trade water in for goods at any time. You can trade okay. water in for gold. And it seems to be really kind of easy to get water. And then there's another figure that goes counterclockwise to the robber. And if you ch land on that, if you choose that space, you can either take a caravan card or just take a, uh, a resource of your choice. So give, you get a lot more control of the resources and it really becomes tactile. Do you do you just play with the expansion now? Now that you have it, or yes. do you ever play without it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's another one of those ones. And there's another side set of cards that you can send one of your Targia to, eliminating one of the cross sections. But these side, they call them Dune cards, the Sand Dune cards, super, super beneficial things that are on them. Okay. Yeah, just like I think there's even one that just says, "Hey, go here." look through the tribe deck, grab a card and put it into your hand. You can't play it right away, but put it into your hand. Like when my wife saw that, she's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, that sounds awesome. It, it sounds like a great expansion to what was already a really fun game. I feel like this game you could play just because it is, it's kind of that chess match where, you know, the game is really how well are you playing the board, but it's already, but it does have a ton of variability in there already, right? The game setup oh. is so different every time. So it doesn't feel like it was like it needed an expansion, but right. everything you just said sounds like it it was a great addition to just add more choices. Yeah, we you know, always more, feel more like decisions. we just have we have more control of mm -hmm. for some reason it is kind of random, but it feels less random. Do you at, feel at like you uh, do you score higher t generally with the expansion than without it? Um, scores are still low, like those high 20s, low 30s. Okay, it's still so. Like, he, so, yeah. so it's still, even though you're feeling like you're getting more, like more flexibility and options, it's not, it's not necessarily making it an easier game to, no. to do well at. No. And, and definitely if you're playing with the expansion, you're never going to get all the way around to that final raid. Like we were okay. pushing it pretty close today. Yeah. But usually it's in the, like that, that third last round. Gotcha. Like, Cause you're, it's easier to build things when you have the water resource that can really be turned into anything you want. Okay, well, that makes sense why you wouldn't score higher because basically the game is going to end with the, under the same, basically under the same conditions, yeah. no matter what. It just means that you're less likely to end because of that final raid. So that that makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. and it's and it's balanced with the the changes in the border cards that they've made. Um, the trader is no longer how many, however many times you want. You can only do it twice. Okay, and stuff like that. And the uh, oh, there's just other things. If you ever have a chance to check it out, I would highly recommend checking it out. Yeah, I mean, I think I've got to just pick this game up as ugly as it is. I, I just, I love it, and I, I don't know whether it's something that's going to be hit with my wife, but it feels like something that's that's small enough that this will be a game anytime I got two people sitting at a table and we got twenty minutes to play or thirty minutes. I'm going to be like, yeah, let's just play some Targi. Yeah, Targi, right? Did I get Tar that right? We're, 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 we're going to go. We're going to go with Targi for tonight. <laughs> right on. Yeah. But the expansion sounds great too. So yeah, I think this will definitely be a buy for me. This is something I'll I'll be adding yeah. to my collection. One nice, upgraded component I wish I had, or I wish existed, would be a play mat where the oh, the border cards are printed. 
yeah. on the thing. And then you can have something that you can pick up the cards easier off the table or something like that, unless if you already have a play mat or something. I think a play mat would really like that. Do you have any uh, graphic design skills, Ryan? Um, nope. Because <laughs> so I was going to say, that seems like, I don't either, but it, it's, that sounds like something that'd be, because it's really just a grid, right? So it, it seems like something pretty easy that you could put, put a layout together and then just have a play mat made. Play you know, mapping, like there yeah. are people that can, that'll just, you can send them in, they'll make you a custom play mat. But you're right, it, it, that would be great for this game. Yeah, yeah, the, that's my only thing. Cool. Yeah, thanks, man. This was really fun. Um, the- Anytime you want to play a game and chat about it, I'm I'm always up for it. Yeah, for it. and uh, board game hot takes. They you have a community on Board Game Arena. Yes, that, that people can join in. And yes, I, I've been part of that. Yeah, we times. don't advertise it a lot, and you know, but basically we've got I don't know. There's like 40 people in there, so anytime someone feels like playing a game, they can just type in the main room and ask for a game, and a few people will jump in and join a game. So it's really easy to get into games there. My name on Board Game Arena is Denga, D-E-N-G-A. Um, by the way, related to uh, Dengar from Star Wars, the old nice. Tommy Hunter from Empire Strikes, nice. Strikes Back. It's That's been my like handle since I was 20 years old. But uh, <laughs> if you want to play a game of anything, just invite me, uh, you know, friend me on, on Board Game Arena and invite me. And even if I don't know it, I'll learn it and then I'll start playing it. So even if you've never met me before and you just want someone to play a, a Board Game Arena game with, async that is because yeah. i don't always have time to play something right away but no absolutely yeah well cool ryan thanks for uh thanks for having me on today this was yeah. a blast absolutely and thanks everybody who decided to join us on this amazing journey of the two-player game i will officially say that i am one and O on the targi <laughs> challenge so if anybody else there out there wants to challenge me to a game of targi I promise my skills will get a little bit more polished, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just send me an invite. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Mr. Rao gaming and all of the uh, information is in the description in this video. And once again, I have to thank Tim, Tim, this was an amazing time. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Total blast. Total blast. Yeah. And definitely check out board game, hot takes the podcast. There'll be a link in the description to this video. Uh, really fun conversations. The guys are top-notch conversationalists. Like <laughs> you can just tell that they've known each other for a while, and it's very familiar conversation. So, really, right on. So, Tim, is there anything else you want to sign off with? Nope. Um, take care, everybody. Perfect. All right, everybody. I'm gonna do my new signature play, uh, sign off and play through over. Mm-hmm.